everyone and welcome at Squat and Throw. Today we're going to do a 20 minute metabolism boost workout. This workout consists of 10 exercises that we will do for 45 seconds long each exercise. 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off, where you have an active rest. I will explain that a little bit later. We will repeat all the 10 exercises once, so in total you will have a 20 minute workout. If you feel like you need a warm up before starting this workout or a cool down and stretch after finishing this workout, go to my other videos where you can find warm ups and stretches specially made for before and after workouts. This workout is one out of six complete workouts. If you want to continue with this workout, I'll put the link in the comments below and if you send me an email, I will give you a free coupon to have access to all these workouts. Are you ready? Let's go. I'm going to explain a little bit more about the active rest. I'm going to give you a couple of options. I'm going to start with the lowest level, the lowest energy level. So what you can do during the 15 seconds is just march. Just march on the spot, no high knees, just march like this. A step further can be a step touch from side to side. The bigger the step, the more energy you will burn, right? Okay, what else can you do? You can also do a little hop. This is the one that I usually use. This is kind of in the middle of the different levels, right? If you're not so tired, but not fully energized, you can just keep it with this. If you feel a little bit more, you can really march it out. Knees up, up, up. If you want, you can arm at arms, whatever you want. A step further, jogging. Really heel against your butt, right? You can jog in it out. And those are the different levels you can choose in your active press. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, guys, in a couple of seconds, we're going to start with our first exercise. It's going to be arm rotations. Ready? Let's go. We're going to circle the arms around. Nice big motions to the front. We're going to do this to warm up our shoulders. As you can see, I have a nice big rotation in the shoulders, warming up the joints. Very important. Long arms. Make sure you move your upper body a little bit. This is your workout. Now in a couple of seconds we have our active rest. Keep going, keep going. Alright, active rest everyone. Good job on the first one. Now, in the second one, second exercise, we're going to go to the mat straight away. We're going to alternate between standing up and going to the mat. Get ready. Onto your mat and we're gonna cycle. We're gonna go, you're gonna bring one knee in and one elbow goes to the opposite of your knee. There. Try to keep your belly button in as much as possible and your shoulder blades off the floor. Very important. Keep breathing. We're almost there. Keep your belly button pressed against the floor. Couple of more seconds. All right. We're gonna get up for our active rest. Remember, you can choose whatever you want. You can just step it out or do a step touch, whatever you want. Next one is gonna be a very traditional jumping jack. Let's go. Very good, guys. Long arms, long legs. Try to jump it out as far as you can. Arms long. Work it. Tighten your belly button as well. Your lower abs. Yeah, don't leave it hanging. All right. Make big movements. 
Give it all you have. Five more seconds. And active rest. All right. Next one, we're gonna go to the mat again. Because we're alternating up and down. We're gonna go to a super regular sit up with the hands crossed on the chest. Let's go. We go up and down. Really try to roll up and down from within the spine. Keep your belly button in, especially when you roll down and squeeze it in. And up. squeeze it in. And up. Very good. Now, if you want to make it a little bit harder for yourself, you can uh, bring your heels further inwards. The further the heels are to your butt, the harder it will get. All right? If not, just leave them like they are mine. All right, active rest. Woohoo! Let me see what we get. Woo! We're gonna do high kicks. I love this one. Very good for the abs, very good for the legs. We're gonna go two arms up. We're gonna kick to the front, long leg, and we're gonna squeeze the upper body in and in and in. And I'm just gonna show you from this side, there. You see that? I'm not keeping my back straight because I want to create that crunch in the air for my lower abs. All right, so we're going to do opposite arm to the leg. Yeah. Couple more seconds. Five. All right, active rest. We're going to go to the floor. We're going to do one side. I'm just going to show you. Heel, you're going to move a little bit backwards, two legs in the air, the lower one is going to go to the upper one. So I'm having this one here for support, the other one on the other side for balance. Now keep this up, don't go like this, keep it up here. Move the lower leg to the upper leg. Now if it's really, really hard, and you can't do it anymore, or you feel like you can't do it anymore, just bend this one, bend this knee. Right, it makes it a little bit more manageable. If not, just keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Yeah, five more seconds. And active rest, let's go. All right, good job everyone. Next up, very traditional squats. Now I'm gonna give you a modification as well, if you want a little bit more. All right, two legs parallel. Make sure you push your, um, your hips all the way to the back. Right, bring your chest down and down. Right, he's gonna show you from the side. There, super long, nice straight back. That means that you're Abs are activating too. There. Really bring the hips back to the front and to the back. If you want, jump. 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 If not, just keep it with the regular squats. Regular squats. And active rest. All right. Fantastic. Now we're going to do the same abs that we did with those legs on the other side. Right? All right, here we go. Get down and up. Here we go. So again, I have this arm for support. I'm lifting myself up. I have this one for balance. Now, if you feel pain on the bottom area, you can move a little bit to the front and to the back to see where your soft spot is. So, I have a lot of cushion on my butt, so for me it doesn't hurt 
at all when I'm like this. Nothing. So make sure you find that balance. All right. Just a couple more seconds. Okay. Active rest. We're almost there. We're going to do a standing up exercise for the arms. We're going to punch it to the front, sink it down so we activate the legs as well. So we're going to go out, sink it down, punch it up to the front. Just alternating arms. Now, why is this cardio? Because we're switching it up, we're switching it up, we're burning a lot of energy here. And also, you can feel your legs. Well, at least I, I know I do, definitely. Sink it as low as you can. Now keep your abs engaged. So I'm going front and back, okay? Side to side, I mean, really. I'm keeping my lower abs super tight, tight, tight. I'm punching. A couple more seconds. And active press. All right. Last one of the 10 exercises. It's gonna be a back exercise because we don't wanna miss that. On the floor, nice and easy. Here we go. On the floor, hands in front of your uh, forehead. We're just gonna go up and down, up and down. There. You can relax your legs. Try to keep looking down, not up, because it's gonna make a very weird angle in your neck. Try to keep a long neck here. Up and down. Up and down. There we go. Don't forget to breathe. Just a couple more seconds. And active rest. All right, we completed the first 10 exercises. We're gonna do the whole thing one more time, unless you call it a day, no problem. All right, let's do it. Big arm circles. Yes, everything again. This is also a moment to get your breath for a moment. Breathing in and out, preferably through the nose in, through the mouth out. But you are going to keep that heart rate high. Now my knees are a little bit bent. Try to not lock them. This is not very good for your knees. Try to rotate. Engage your upper body. Here we go. Just a couple more seconds. And we're going to go to the floor. And we're going to cycle. Here we go. Oh no, active rest first. Woo, I went too fast. Active rest, don't forget. Almost. Okay, now we're gonna go to the floor for our cycling exercise. Here we go. And again, elbows, um, yeah, elbow to your opposite knee. Bring your knees in. Keep your belly button all the way in. Press your belly button down to the floor. Here we go. Keep alternating. If you want a little bit more cardio, you can also speed it up a bit, right? Then you have more cardio, more burn. This is more strength, whatever you want, depending on how you feel today. And active rest. Okay. Remember, you can also jog it out. If you want a step more, you can also just march it. If you need a little more, catching your breath. We're gonna continue with jumping jacks. Yes, come on everyone. I know this is hard, but it's so good. Afterwards, you will keep burning calories because you've had this metabolism boost. Only 20 minutes. You can do it. Keep your belly butts in. Keep it tight. I tend to forget that myself. That's why I'm saying it.
Five more seconds. And active rest. Good job, everyone. After active rest, we're gonna go to the mat for our regular sit-ups with the arms crossed on the chest. Here we go. And bring it up and down. Remember to squeeze your belly button, squeeze it in and out. Especially, especially when you roll down, squeeze it. So you don't get that hard fall on the floor. You don't want to hurt your spine. Remember, you want to make it harder? Move your heels towards your foot, towards your hips. It's going to make it harder. You could also already see that I was letting go of my feet. That is why. And active rest. All right, guys. Good job. You are doing great. We're going to continue with our high kicks. I really like those. So let's do it now. And up, down, up, down. Remember? Opposite arm moves towards your feet. You're crunching in the air as if you're on the floor doing abs, but then we're doing them standing up and crunch. Really squeeze your belly button in. Squeeze and here we go. If you, if you can't lift your leg that high, it doesn't matter at all. If it's lower, you can also go like this. You have the same crunch in the upper body. If you can go higher, perfect. And active rest. We're gonna go to the side app. Right? On the floor, we're gonna bring our legs up and down. Let's have a look. Here we are. Remember, we have this one for support. Balance. Squeeze your belly button in and we're moving it up and down. Good four. Outer leg, inner leg, abs, and a little support here. But mainly abs. Now I hope you feel winded and sweaty because I am, it's really, really hot in here. More seconds. And one. Active rest. We're going to continue with our traditional regular squats. Or if you want to step up, you can jump them like we did on the first, in the first round. Here we go. Regular squats. Remember, bring the hips back and to the front. Here we go. There. Keep your abs engaged. Don't let them go. So you have a nice long back. Really try to elongate your back. Now if you want, let's jump the last couple of ones together. And jump. Jump. Just 10 more seconds. If you want, otherwise just do the traditional one. Five seconds. And active rest. Well done, guys. That one is hard, I know. I keep fixing my hair. You probably have to do the same. We're going to continue with the abs, the scissor abs, side on the other side. Here we go. Up. And up. Here we go. Same story. Support. Lift, lift, lift. And keep this one in motion for 30 more seconds. I know it's getting harder, but I know you can do it. I know I'm feeling it already. Couple 
couple more seconds. And active rest. All right. Just two more exercises, then we're done, guys. Come on, keep it up, keep it up, keep the energy high. We're gonna continue with the punches in the front. Two more squats and punch it. Punch it. Here we go. Speed it up, speed it up. This is your cardio exercise. Remember to keep engaging your abs. Sink it down, sink it down. Keep breathing out. I know I'm talking a lot, but you can focus on your breathing. Remember that your knee should not go over your heel like this. Keep it centered. Move it, move it, move it. Four, ten more seconds. Let's go. I think you can hear me breathing. That's fine. Yes. All right. Oh my God, guys. Last one already. Remember this one? It's the back. So we did a lot of abs. Just going to finish it up with the back exercise. Hands on the front. Here we go. Hands up and down. Remember, you can release your uh, legs at this moment. Keep your leg long. Keep facing down. I know it's weird, but this is how you create that length in your neck. Keep breathing. Breathe in when you go up and breathe out when you go down. Guys, keep activating a little bit and march it out. Breathe in and give yourself a big, big, big applause. Oh my God, guys, you have made it. You have finished a complete 20 minute metabolism boost workout. I know I'm sweating a lot, breathing heavily. That means only one thing we've been burning and working really hot, and we're going to feel super good about ourselves. I hope I will see you in the next workout. Bye!